hey what's up guys kind of wanted to do like a product or company spotlight um also unbox some things i got so let's get to it so before i get to the product spotlight i'm gonna show you something that i got in the mail i believe it's canadian cluster but as you can see the rpm gauge is busted you know right now ekegef stuff is going through the roof i got this cluster for 35 bucks on ebay and the rest was shipping so it came out to like 50 bucks but i think this is a great deal parts cluster as you can see it's all beat up in the back the film is cracked just switch over this um, rpm gauge to this one and i have a fully functioning kilometers per hour cluster which it will be good to add to the collection second of all we got this right here and this is pretty special because i've been wanting this for a while i have the shifter rod installed already but these come in and they sell out super super fast so i was lucky to grab one this go around and is the chasing jays titanium shift knob look at the quality i love it so yeah we're gonna get this installed and we're in the car we'll talk more about chasing jays spoiler alert i love them one of the best companies i've ever purchased from but we'll go more into it when we're in the car first let's get these gauge swapped over because i'm gonna try something on it and we'll catch back up so yeah to get this rpm gauge off is actually pretty easy these clusters are are pretty easy to work with all you got to do is unclip it and then it's three screws on the back and the, the gauge comes off so let's let me get that done and i'll get back to you can see we're free three Phillips in the back and it should come on and we're free now you can see all we want is this bad boy same thing three screws Yeah. Oh. Please put it in place. What you never want to do is over tighten these. If you see, look, I'm going to do this, but I never like add pressure. You see, I let it slip in here. Now we're all good to go. I'm gonna leave this off because I, I'm gonna try something out. So let's go in the car. Finally talk about the company spotlight and that's Chasing Jays. It's, it's been amazing to purchase stuff from them. The, the quality is always amazing. I also collect watches. And there's like this company, this German company that if you know with watches what raises the prices high is the finishing the details all that stuff so there's this company german company called glasuta original i don't know if the pronunciation is correct someone went for a tour of their company and they showed them where they finished the watches um, and i'm sorry this is dragging out but it'll you'll see where it leads up to uh, a three thousand dollar watch doesn't get finished as well as a ten thousand or twenty thousand dollar watch so the guy was like, oh, that's crazy that you do everything. And the, the response from the guy was, "We it doesn't matter if it's entry level or is our top of the line five pieces, they all get finished to the same level. 
that's that's what we believe in and that's what we do and i feel like that's the same with chasing jays like this is one of their this is the first the first thing i've ever gotten from them is the, the titanium steering wheel bolts this is like their cheapest product but you look at something like this right which is their cheapest product and you can't tell the difference in quality from this the cluster shroud which is a hundred and something bucks you can tell that this company cares about even their smallest products the, if it's in stock they get it to you extremely fast everything i've purchased from them the quality has been amazing and, and you know what's also great i got the same sticker and packaging from these bolts than i did shift knob that says a lot about the company right now without further ado let's take off my mpc shift knob and install my chasing j shift knob on a side note another thing i picked up black friday sale at home depot husky 100 bucks 270 pieces 270 pieces that's a great deal man you know we're always losing tools so i'm super happy about that now to the shift knob this is my mpc shift knob and as you can see i have the um chasing j's rod already installed which is a shame that the shift knob covers because if you see the top of the shift knob is beautiful i wish that you know it was more exposed here's a closer look it looks amazing and now we get to install this beauty like I said, I've been waiting for them to restock on these. These, uh, you know, they come in, they sell out. As with all their stuff, you can feel the weight, even if it's titanium. I thought it would because if it was titanium, it was gonna, um, it was gonna be super light. But this is as heavy as any, you know, weighted shift knob. There it is. Another piece to my collection looks amazing and then there might be some of you asking well why would you pay like 120 bucks for a shift knob i can get a skunk too or a, you know a blocks one for like 20 40 bucks i still see the trend like even in youtube that civics has like the entry level like cheap you know cut corners all the way you also see that a, a, a big you know section of the industry turning over where we want high quality parts we want to take the civics to another level where you know they can go to like huge you know shows and and, and stand within their own i love bespoke high quality things like this so i can't recommend them enough now for the last part of the video it's getting dark on me it's about to rain I'm gonna, um, this is my Chasing J surround on my EM1 cluster. I got the red LEDs in it. I think that it will look cool on that cluster too. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put that on, do a little switcheroo and see which one I like more options. All right, back to business. Power on, let's see if this works. RPM's working. Everything seems to be working. Again, sorry for the low light, but now you can see the the Chasing Jays cluster shroud or surround and all its glory. Beautiful, beautiful piece. So yeah, I had to run inside because hailstorm came down out of nowhere and I was trapped in the coop, so I ran inside. But uh, now you can see in daylight. Cluster. Let's uh, see how it looks in the car. So yeah, that's in the car. Obviously, it's not uh, bolted on; it's just put on there. But the cluster is working. You can see. So trying to unfog from the rain, but it was a great success. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. The cluster, like I said, I got it for 50 bucks ship because the RPM gauge was broken. I had from my spirit cluster there. So all in all, I got a great deal. 
and it obviously is not a type r cluster a ctr cluster or a vti cluster or nothing crazy like that but you know it's something to spice it up that's pretty much it that's the video like i said i can't recommend chasing jays enough if, if you love high quality products that you know are just gonna give your build that extra little oomph check them out i'll leave the link below I, obviously this channel isn't big enough to get any sponsors so nobody asks me or whatever i'm just like this is like my section of like the channel my brother loves to do like the the motor building that's his cup of tea you know we got the dailies but this is like where i shine where i love you know this is i, I love to find these companies another company that i love and hope i'm gonna do the next video on later on is rfab that's another company that i love that they make super high quality things you know so like i said like and subscribe leave a comment below and support us we want to get bigger so thanks a lot